In this first episode, we will be driving north from South Florida, stopping at several iconic locations and some of the beaten path destinations as the summer of 2019 cross-country adventure begins. Want to find out more? All that, coming up next. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Greetings from Miami, Florida. Today we begin the longest trip yet, almost four months in the making. And on this first installment, we will be once again leaving the Sunshine State, but we're gonna take the West Coast route this time. It being late spring in South Florida, there is always a chance for a rain shower. Here we are, Alligator Alley, part of I-75 which goes right across the Everglades. We're in the Everglades. This straight road here is the Alligator Alley. We haven't taken it in a while. But today I decided to take a West Coast route. And uh, I really have no idea where we're gonna stop tonight. It's one of those uh, trips, you know, that, I mean, we might get lucky and make it all the way to Tarpon Springs. We might just make it all the way to Fort Myers and that's it, you know? So we'll see. By the way, this is the beginning of a new grand adventure here. Uh, which I also don't know exactly where we're gonna go throughout the adventure, but the first uh, leg of the trip is, uh, as usual, getting out of Florida, seeing some something in Florida, and then we're gonna be Cue the song. Driving to the west, into the sunset, driving to the west. After Fort Myers, we cross the Kalusahatchee River, say that three times in a row, as we continue north on I-75. We don't really know exactly where we're gonna be staying yet, but we should start making a decision soon, calling some places. Actually, on a whim, we decided to check Fort DeSoto, one of our favorite county parks in Florida. And lo and behold, it looks like they have a couple of sites available. That's rare. Here we are, about to cross the famous Sunshine Skyway Bridge, spanning Lower Tampa Bay. It was completed in 1987, replacing an older bridge which partially collapsed after being hit by a tanker ship in 1980. The iconic bridge offers unobstructed views of the bay because of the cables being placed in the center of the bridge, causing some people to suffer from vertigo while crossing it. True fact. Twenty minutes and two tall booths later, we are arriving at Fort DeSoto, a Pinellas County park, and probably one of Florida's best and most coveted camping spots. Let's check in and go to our site. Isn't this like the coolest campground? Although they are pretty close to each other, the sites feel very secluded because of the dense vegetation. Well, here we are, Fort DeSoto Park in the Tampa Bay area near St. Petersburg, uh, Florida. And uh, this is our site here, which is very nice. Very nice indeed. But next time, we gotta snatch one of those waterfront sites. Such a relaxing place. Let's check out the beach which is a short distance by car in the day use area of the park. Seems 
like very shallow water, so. This fine white sand beach is probably one of the park's best features. There's also the fort, but we saw that the last time we were here, and there's also a fishing pier and lots, lots to do, but tell you what, it is not very sunny right now, so let's go to town instead. Let's go to St. Pete Beach, which is a good 15 minutes away, but there are some bars and restaurants, and to be honest, we're getting hungry. And it is Friday, time for my weekly live stream, and internet speeds in the park, at least with AT&T, not great. Here we are, St. Pete Beach, and the historic and iconic The Don Caesar Hotel. And did you notice the sun came out as soon as we left the park? And it's turned out into a beautiful day. This is it, we've been here before once, so let's park! That's Hurricane, and they have a rooftop bar, but last time we didn't notice this waterfront place here called Paradise Grill. Let's check it out. Isn't this nice? A place to sit here by the water, facing the sunset. Ooh, and they have live music too. Baby, there you stand. With your head down in your hand. Let's get a beer. How come we had never discovered this place before? Well, now we have, and while the bar service is a little slow, there's great ambience here with the music, magic hour. Yeah, the view is unbeatable. Sunset will be happening soon. Well, we managed to find uh, an oceanfront uh, table here. It's very nice, actually. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than this. How about that weekly Friday live stream, huh? You're not gonna believe where I am. Hello, everybody. We're in St. Petersburg uh, Beach here. And uh, Illy Dilly is showing me, very mad actually, she's showing me how I look and I look really good on the video today. So uh, at, the, at the place where we're staying, there's no bandwidth, but here it's pretty good. Hey Robert, how are you? We passed you on I-75. My wife sent you a video on Instagram. Oh, I haven't seen it. I'm going to check it out. Thank you so much. By the way, we just discovered this place here. Very nice. Let me give you a quick uh, pan here. It's a... Uh, it's like this beach beachfront bar and restaurant and grill. I don't even know what it's called, but it's very, very nice. Hold on, because I'm doing one of these. I'm getting the sunset and now I'm getting the live video. Yes, we're doing a... Uh, Well, yeah, that was a very successful live stream. One of the more scenic ones I've done for sure. Unfortunately, it is kind of cloudy on the horizon, so we are not gonna get one of those glorious green flash sunsets. But I'm not complaining, huh? And the pelican came. Oh, you ate already, huh? Didn't you? Yeah, 
No, he's not going to fly. He's going to fly, 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 Pelican! Actually, it couldn't get more perfect than this. We even got a Pelican. Well, let's check out the brass monkey as night falls over St. Pete Beach. We're gonna have a Cigar City Hialeah IPA here and we're gonna order some food. It is actually not very busy, but I still think it is a pretty cool place. We order some mushrooms and the jerk chicken. And let's call it a night. Good morning to ya. Well, good morning. Uh, what a fun time we had last night here in St. Petersburg uh, Beach. And of course, this is one of my favorite parks, uh, Fort De Soto. If it only had good uh, cellular coverage, it would be perfect. And we're relatively close to the city, so I don't see why, you know, we, we are... Uh, the, the cellular coverage, at least with AT&T, is really bad. So take a note of that if you need to work uh, on the road. Well, today we continue north. It's 9 a.m. We, we had a, a late start today. But even at 9 a.m. it's already kind of sweltering hot, so... Let's go for a, for a quick walk around the park and then north we go. The idea is to see Cedar Key and then the Suwannee River State Park, but... Who knows? We might do something else. Up until now, I hadn't noticed this this path that goes like to the to the main area here. Yeah, these are probably the best sites in the park right here. You can have your own boat. What are you doing there, little buddy? Yeah, it's getting breezy here. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, actually, just in a couple of hours. I wonder what's going on on that tree. I love this park here and the wildlife, which apparently is pretty used to being around humans. Well, hello there. Yeah, I don't know when I got this crazy idea that I can be like a bird whisperer of sorts. Hello there. Do you like to eat fish? Let's see if we can find our secret path back to the camper. There it is, no alcohol. Uh oh. I think we broke that rule last night. There it is, the secret path to Minitini. Our travel plans for today, mm, kind of ambitious, especially since we left kind of late and we want to take the scenic ride through St. Pete and Madeira Beach first. We are approaching John's Pass and there's this boardwalk and village, lots of restaurants and shops, lots of fun actually. This area is called Madeira Beach 
And the main point of interest we want to see today is actually a church. Here we are by the aptly named Church by the Sea, colloquially known as Florida's Chicken Church because of the uncanny resemblance to a cartoon bird. Well, this is the church called the Church by the Sea and as you can see it has this interesting architectural design that looks like an angry bird. Let's continue. The elevated pedestrian walkway to the left is actually part of the Pinellas Trail, which goes from here all the way to Tarpon Springs for a total length of 38 miles. Some of it repurposing the location of old abandoned railroad tracks. Let's hop on the 275 north towards Tampa. For a very long time now, I have wanted to visit this small island on the nature coast of Florida called Cedar Key. So that's where we're going next. We are approaching Crystal River, which is a pretty cool town, particularly in the winter, because you will see manatees galore coming into the Three Sisters Spring. It is totally something worth seeing. But today, today we're just going to drive around a little bit. We were here two winters ago, actually, and saw lots of manatee. But right now we are in June, so we're just gonna reminisce a little and continue. Continue north towards Cedar Key. Here we are. It kind of reminds me of the lower Florida Keys, kind of. You know, that area between Sugarloaf and Boca Chica, almost at the end of the Keys, almost in Key West. That's what it kind of reminds me of. The weather is not cooperating, so I apologize for the raindrop on the lens. We're gonna park right here in the middle of town with the trailer in tow because that's how we roll. And lo and behold, we found parking. I went by the visitor center across the street and they said it was okay to park here, although there is a lot about two blocks away. Here's some street art. Fly, Pelican! We're famished and the consensus online is that the best place seems to be Tony's. They are supposedly famous for their clam chowder and the fish, of course. Ely is having the regular blackened fish sandwich and I'm having the po' boy. Well, Tony's here, very nice. Actually, the, the, the clam chowder does live up to its reputation, was very good. A little over spicy, perhaps, but very nice. And very picturesque uh, town here is Cedar Key. And, um, and we had also the fish sandwich and the fish po' boy and those were okay. So let's walk around a little more here in town and then um, we continue the journey north. We're gonna go north now. Oh, by the way, this gravel lot here, this is probably where we should have parked with the RV. That's what the lady at the, at the visitor center said. And she, uh, she also recommended the, that Tony's place, but that Tony's place is all over the place on, on media, on social media. A very cool uh, town here, uh, Cedar Key. This is the museum, but we are not in the museum mood today. We're in the pier mood, so we're gonna go to the pier. Well, Cedar Key, very quaint, quirky town here. Definitely off the beaten path. Well, we were gonna go to the pier, but rain is imminent, so we might rethink that. Oh, realty. Maybe we want to buy a house here. Mm -hmm. 
Here's a cool mural, but I have no idea what the deal is with the spinning wheel. Must be art, man. We've decided to go to the pier with Minitini in tow because it is raining and the forecast calls for heavy rain. And I'm going the wrong way. Actually, I'm just gonna park here at one of these oversized spaces, actually meant for boat trailers. We won't take long. Well, it's only supposed to be uh, boat trailers, but I think we're gonna be fine. There's no one else here. We're gonna be fine for five minutes. Yes, only five minutes, maybe ten, just to see what it is and show you what it is like. Lots of pelicans everywhere. It is not very busy right now, but it could be the weather or the time of the day. It's really cool, I didn't know this little street was here with all this... Uh, there's a bunch of restaurants and bars and it's like... It's the fishing pier. Very nice, yeah. Cedar Key definitely a place to, to come back to with better weather, more time. But yeah, definitely a hidden gem here in the in this part of Florida. Two hours later, we are arriving at Live Oak, Florida. We're almost there. Pretty historic city here, at one time the largest inland settlement in Florida. By the way, the town was named for a tree under which railroad workers rested and ate lunch. Coming up is the original location of the oak. The live oak, which is no longer, no longer alive. Pepe's. That's where the original oak used to be. Your destination is on the left. In any case, here we are, the Suwannee River State Park. It is in this part of Florida where it starts to look a little more like Georgia, perhaps. At least compared to the Florida we're used to, further south. Well, this is the Suwannee River State Park. Very nice. It is a shame that we only have a couple of hours here, <laughs> really, yeah, because uh, the vegetation, it doesn't quite look like Florida anymore, which is uh, unexpected. All of a sudden, no more palmetto, no more uh, uh, the hammock, you know, forest. And we've got, we got all this, uh, well, the cypress, we've got some cypress and we've got uh, oaks and all these trees. And, and you're gonna say, Robert, you have to spend more time in these places and I totally agree. And we will, but uh, now I know that this is a place that I want to return to. Uh, 
Here's the bathhouse, that's the trash. I think the river is that way. The promaster towing, promaster towing a vintage Monabedo, huh? Walking down to the river, there's a trail, and it looks like it might rain. It is so beautiful out here. Let's do a segment of the Suwani River Trail here. It's always fun to watch people, you know, load and unload their boats. Almost as much fun as watching people park their trailers. I love all these Spanish moss draped oak trees. They remind me of Savannah, actually. This part of the trail is called Earthworks Trail, just a quarter mile. Check out that cardinal. So cool, such a beautiful bird. Here we have some artifacts from old paddle boats and uh, some earthworks from the Civil War. Hmm, ferry landing. Let's check it out. It's locked. Don't look down. It's pretty cool, actually. I think we've got to go back now. We wait very... It's, it's quite a distance if we fall. You know what would be really cool? If the train went by right now and see them all fly away. All right. Let's go back to the campground and see all this from a different perspective. This is, of course, the confluence of the Huitlacuchi River and the historic Suwani. Well, good morning from the Suwani River State Park. I'm gonna go for a morning uh, jog here, hike, but I wanna show you something before I go. I couldn't connect my sewer yesterday because look where it is, look where we are. It's so peaceful out here. By the way, site 13, Loki 13. A fire pit and our own picnic table, clothesline. And maybe we could put a hammock on one of these trees. Well, as I said, I'm gonna go for a quick hike here. Beautiful morning. I am only taking the new GoPro 7 this morning. Should be a good test, I guess.
We're gonna do the balance to rock trail here. Should be interesting. Oh, this is beautiful here. There's like a, like a hot spring down there. There's some kind of spring springing into the water. It is called a Little Gem Spring. All right, let's continue. Okay, this is uh, very nice. I'm going to start heading back. Yeah, I think the balanced rock uh, fell. <laughs> I just stood there once. I was looking for the balanced rock and I couldn't find it. Okay. So it fell or someone tipped it over or something. <laughs> oh, in 2015. Not that long ago. Oh wow, that's a huge spider web, huge spider web. Very nice, I like this place. Now I'm gonna go back to camp, for real. Okay, let's hit the road. We've got bad weather coming. On the next episode, we are going to drive by Taylor County, Florida, searching for the perfect homestead. Then we'll continue west on the Florida Panhandle. We'll stay at Big Lagoon State Park. We'll visit a famous bar on the Florida-Alabama state line. Then Mississippi, Louisiana, as we slowly but surely Approach the Lone Star State. I'm riding, riding in my 